Oh, now you're working. Look at that. There's a truck that just went by, and they had, like, squeakiness. And I just heard, like, squeaky, squeaky, squeak, squeak. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's how, that's how I start my videos, is being distracted by trucks. I, <laughs> that's actually funny that I said that, because when Alex was little, that's my niece, my niece, no, not my niece, my nephew. <laughs> um, he used to really like trucks, and so when, like, we would drive by a truck, he'd be like, it's a truck, it's a truck, look, look, get all excited. And then I started copying him. Um, so when he was, like, upset or anything, I would be like, oh, look, a truck, a truck. And now I'm basically a child. I just love stuff that, like, normal kids do. Anyway, I was thinking, oh, I would just show you what's in my bag. I used to have a lot of purses. I like to give them away and get rid of them. So this is my purse. And it looks like that. There's no studs on the bottom, unfortunately. But it's still a pretty good structured bag. Uh, it's got the chains. With the straps. And this tassel. And you can see it's getting frayed. I've had this for a while, so it's not bad. And I, I've had more expensive bags that I just never used. Because it didn't fit all my stuff. But the reason why I have this one... Oh, I should show you the back, too. It's just plain black. Um, the reason why I have this is because it fits this, which is my computer. <laughs> um, which is really nice, because I don't have a computer bag anymore. I did have one, and the strap broke off. And I didn't know when I got this that it would fit my computer, but it does, and so that's why I'm, like, keeping it. And I, like, carry this, like, with me to places, and you can see, like, since it's cinched in here, it doesn't look like it would fit a computer. Um, but it does, so. Yeah, everyone was surprised. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. Now I'm going to show you what's my bag. Oh, I should show you the inside, too. The inside, you have these two side pockets. It's leopard print. And then you have your one on the opposite side zipper pocket. And it's pretty spacious, like I said. When I put my computer in here, though, I can't usually fit all the stuff that's in here now. Like, especially this. I got a water bottle because um, I drink water at work. Actually, I should drink some water now. Um, I don't put water in here with my computer because I'm just scared it's going to leak and ruin my computer. I need my computer to do homework. Um, these headphones. Um, I usually have car headphones, which would be the ones with me. But since my car isn't with me, that's why I have this purse. And then $5. Um, and that was in the zippered pocket. I have a windbreaker. It's a Nike jacket with a hood. And I put this on when it's raining because I'm walking to work now. Um, I have... Ooh la la! Look at that! I have notes! Let me take a look at this. Chapter 2, Benefits of Trade. Uh, decrease prices, increase in goods and services, increase in employment, uh, tech transfers, creates new ideas and technologies, technological transfers, create new ideas and technologies, oh, interdependence on other nations decreases the likelihood of war, because let's say we, let's say we're U.S., and we get all of our coffee from Brazil, we don't want to fight them because then we won't get coffee. So I, that's how it basically decreases war. This is all like from textbooks, like what I'm going to get tested on and what the right answers is. This is not my actual beliefs because uh, I believe like I read the economic hitman when I took economics in high school and I believe like basically globalization is really bad and we're moving towards a new world order and all the christians are gonna be freaking persecuted and martyred and dead 
Um, and yeah, so when I'm like learning all this stuff in school, I have to memorize it and take a test. I'm just like, Ugh, this is not what I believe in at all. So that's like really annoying because I'm going to get tested on it. Anyway, uh, mercantilism did not... What? Okay, in mercantilism, you basically hoard gold and silver so that you have a trade surplus. Oh, okay. Did not recognize both trading partners' benefit. So they thought in mercantilism, if I, uh, like, I, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I do like to hoard gold and silver, even though I don't because I don't have money for it because I'm getting out of debt. So <clears throat> if I was hoarding it, it would be like, I'm going to sell it to my sister. Well, I'm going to have a trade surplus first, and then I'm going to sell that. Um, but it's like I would benefit, and she wouldn't. So they don't recognize that people who they trade with will also benefit from what they're trading. <sighs> okay, absolute advantage. That's one I need to ask my course mentor about because I get that kind of confused with comparative advantage. Um, but absolute advantage says... Countries should specialize in what product product they have an advantage in producing and comparative advantage. Each country should provide what they make more of for the lowest cost. And then Hector Olin theory factor endowment, which is land, human resources, factor price equalization factors move into countries where they're most efficient okay so that's like um if indonesia has really great laborers um and another place has something else if the laborers are more efficient in I, I don't know. <laughs> it's another thing I should ask. Uh, and then Porter's Diamond. I have no idea what that is. That's where I stop. Tried to draw a picture of a diamond. I like to make squiggly lines and stuff in big letters and little letters and colors and arrows and things in my notes because it breaks it up. It makes it easier. <sighs> Sorry about that like little economic break. It's not what I wanted to do, but that's just what happened. Okay, what else do I have? Sunglasses. Okay, now, as far as sunglasses, I haven't worn these for a long time. Um, because I don't wear them in the winter. And because usually I want sunglasses when I'm driving and the sun's blaring in my eyes. But I have regular glasses, so I can't put these on. This might be something I give away. Um, but I really like them. These have been some of my favorite glasses for a long time. And I already got rid of sunglasses. So, probably don't need to keep getting them, giving them away. Because then I'm going to be like, oh, but I need them for the sunshine. And I don't. Anyway, I stopped wearing these because I read an article that said um, wearing sunglasses may cause cancer. Well, I think actually the article said wearing sunglasses can cause cancer because your eyes need the sun for some reason. Anyway, I, I didn't just believe it because I don't believe anything really. So I was going to research it more, but I stopped wearing sunglasses. Well, because of the winter and the darkness and then because I can't wear them over my glasses because it's weird. But I should just show you guys these because they're really pretty. That's the back of it. You see that gorgeous little pattern on it? I feel like it's out of focus, like, really badly. It's like the light is shining in a weird way. I don't like it. But it's really pretty. Like, it's just fun to look at. It's like art. Like, oh, what do you do for fun? I put art on my face. Which, I mean, that's, that's what this is. It's just so pretty. They have all these squiggly lines and, like... Look at the front of this. That just reminds me of a clock. Oh, you can't see it. I hate it. I wish you could see how pretty they are. Anyway, I have sunglasses. This is not my house. That's why I'm not answering the phone. 
This I just bought from the Dollar Tree, which is my favorite store. Laura is my mom. And that lady wants my mom to call her. I'm trying to get this out of package. The struggle. The struggle is real. Okay, so. Now we got some recycling. That's not going in my purse. Um, This is a vanilla kind. And obviously I just... Oh, I can smell it. It smells so good. Yes, I am excited. So, I used to buy these. This was my favorite thing. Um, And then it was like a pink tinted. And it was like the prettiest color. It was like just a light, shiny, sparkly, but not glitter. It was like just shiny, shimmery instead of like straight glitter um but it was this stuff and it was like a beautiful light pink kind of darkish pink color it was so pretty um and so i used to get that all the time that was the only one they had uh for a long time and then i got this the other day because i saw it and i was like oh i like that brand however um i prefer to make my own kind of stuff like this I just haven't done it. Ew, what is on me? My hand just touched something wet and I don't like it. Yuck. It's in my hair. It's disturbing. Anyway, so I stopped wearing the pink shimmering kind when I stopped wearing makeup and jewelry. Um, so I don't I had it, and I just threw it away, I think. Probably gave it to someone. That's another possibility. <sighs> and now, this is a plain kind. Right? Yeah, that's plain. You know, it kind of feels like a little minty, too. It's the Mentholatum Company. I wonder what that means. Anyway, so yes, I like this. This is going back in here. Put it with the headphones in the zippered pocket. And what else? Oh, unfortunately, I have a pack of cigarettes with a lighter in it. And let me show you this pretty lighter. I don't know if you can tell this about me, but I really like pretty things. Look at that. Like, just things that are... Yeah, the glare on this just sucks. I don't know why. Yeah, this is just pretty. I love, not that, but the design on that is just pretty. Yep, I like to buy pretty, shiny, sparkly things. Um, and I actually more like not buying them and it's like taking whatever amount of money that would be and going to get out of that. Next thing is I have my cards. I'll show you this one, right? Um, that says, that's Twin City. That's because um, I took someone to the arcade. I, like, went to this girl's house, and there was a bunch of people there, and there was a bunch of screaming and yelling and arguing and crying, right? There was this kid who was crying about a drink, and they were arguing about it, and I was like, you know what? You come with me. And I am going to get you another drink. And you know what? That little butthead brat head over there arguing, whining, complaining about someone drinking part of her drink or what the fuck ever. She can have both drinks and we're going to fucking leave because I'm not dealing with this. And so I was like, you know what? We're going to a fun place. <laughs> and I took her to the arcade. And so I have this card because um, at the arcade, you get a card. And I think they put your tickets on the card because they don't have your tickets come out. And then I have some more cash. Then I have my credit card. And I have my bank card. Um, 10, 11, 12 dollars. Plus the other 5 dollars. 
but we're gonna keep it separate just to, just to be confusing and to not <laughs> be in order <laughs> that doesn't make any sense why am i like this okay and these can go back in the side pocket wow <laughs> That was a very long video for just what's in my purse and going over a chapter to a note. I was going to say a counting note, but it's not counting. <laughs> it's economics. <laughs> Why is that funny? I'm like, haha, it's not accounting. <laughs> my sense of humor is bizarre and doesn't make sense. Anyway, I, I would say subscribe, but you probably don't. I mean, what am I going to do on this channel? Probably find stuff like this and <laughs> notes that's so boring i don't th i don't think so i don't think you should subscribe maybe if i make some good content if you have a video request you could tell me what it is i do actually have a lot of good stories um yeah so if you subscribe subscribe for the stories not for this I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. Do whatever you want. Subscribe to Daniel St. Germain. Subscribe to Alex Day. Uh, and make your own videos about what God is doing in your life. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, lastly, this portrait of someone. Of, of someone. <laughs> yeah, that's a portrait of someone. Oh, I can't use my camera angle. Why am I so dumb? I hate it. What's wrong with me? Is that working? Oh, okay. So that's the portrait. That was a birthday present. And um, it's me. <laughs> not, not sure if you can tell. That's me. It's a picture of me. Someone drew that. Um, I don't know why. I just wanted to show you that. I was just looking up at it. Like, oh, I'm on my mom's wall. Anyway, maybe I should make a video about why I want to be homeless and live in my car. Does that sound interesting? Subscribe if you want to see me being homeless and poor and living in my car to get out of debt. <laughs> That's why you should subscribe and to hear my stories about God and the punishment he poured upon me. <laughs> That's a hard video to make. Oh, and then forgiveness too because I forgave someone. I, ac I asked someone last night if they would forgive me like years years after the fact um because it takes me years sometimes anyway i'm gonna end this because 17 minutes of <laughs> what's in my bag <laughs> is like ridiculous i don't know what i'm doing with my life i need to do homework and i don't uh, i don't know Okay, that's all. Subscribe if you want or don't. I don't know. Uh, make videos and be happy and serve God. Okay, that's all. Bye.